no, no. Hi, everybody. It's Lori and Barb at our mini break. Um, we're doing a little early today because uh, there's a, an appointment today that we couldn't make to 10 o'clock. Um, so last week um, we had a little kerfuffle. Um, and uh, In taping mini break. In taping the mini break. Not a kerfuffle with the rescue. No, uh, with the horses. just okay. the taping. And um, Lori, so. Lori swore a little bit <gasps> and the phone dropped uh, and it was pretty funny. Yeah. For those who got to actually see the four and a half seconds when it was up. But uh, because we like to keep this family appropriate, they took the recording down. Yeah, so we're we going to do the content today. We had a horse get caught in the wire. and Well, there was that. So. <laughs> anyway, um, so today um, we're going to talk a little bit about um, how we will use herd dynamics in our training. Um, so as you guys know, we've been working a lot with uh, Christoph and Anna and Elsa. And there's our little Christoph. Yes, he's a little sore still. Hi, buddy. Um, and what we're doing... So, it, hang on. Oh, Let's sorry. remind them. Christoph is part of the Disney trio. Correct. Of Anna, Elsa, and Christoph. They came to us just over a year ago. Mm -hmm. And they have been the most feral, hard to train, um, terrified in, to the point of anger yeah. around people of any horses that we've experienced in the rescue. Yeah. Yeah. Go Probably ahead. in my whole... Maybe our whole lives. My whole, whole life. Yeah. Yeah. Um... So we've tried a few different things with them. We've spent a lot of time um, hanging out, trying to get some trust. Uh, we've had our vets involved quite a bit. Um, we uh, switched to trying something called Xylokine. And, um, Which is a vet uh, prescribed prescription. Mm -hmm. supplement that has some research behind it that from the University of Pennsylvania, I believe, that suggests that it can really help a very feral horse uh, settle down enough to get to be able to absorb some training. So yeah. Um, yeah. Evergreen Equine was able to give us a substantial discount so we could try it on Christoph and Anna for a mm -hmm. month. Yeah. Yeah. It. Um, it has the properties of like the mother's milk that gives from them cows. That, yeah, yeah, that gives yeah. them the calming yeah. that babies get yep. from their mom. So uh, we tried that. Um, the first week we noticed a huge, tremendous, huge yep. um, difference. Uh, very calm. We were able to get to where we could touch um, Anna on her face. We even got down her neck. Um, the second week it kind of leveled off. Right. It didn't go backwards, but it, it leveled off. Um, so it did help us get a, a jump at least, um, but continuing it, we didn't get much else out of it. Right. Um, <clears throat> so, so next step, next step, uh, more brainstorming. Um, we decided to use the herd to help us with some of this. Um, so Anna, we moved back with Elsa mm -hmm. and we'll go over there in a minute and check her out and see how she's doing. Um, but with Kristoff, we went ahead and brought Dylan and Romeo in, who are very friendly with the people. Um, and they come up to us and get loves and, and all that kind of good stuff. And kind of showing Kristoff that, hey, you know, humans aren't so bad. You don't have to get all excited when, when they come in. Um, this process takes a little bit. Um, yeah, you guys, you just moved the, you did the herd rearrangement. Wednesday, I think. Yeah. yeah Tuesday yeah. or Wednesday last week. So. Um, no, Thursday. I think it was yeah, Thursday. Yeah, So this yeah. is brand spanking new. Brand new. Now, what gave us this idea was uh, we did move Elsa a while ago, and right. we've shared that with you guys. Um, Elsa is starting to thrive in with the other herd. She comes up willingly to you. Um, Especially to Rick. To my she husband. Loves oh, Lori's husband. my goodness. <laughs> they literally share breath and blow in each other's noses. Which is inconceivable two months ago from that horse. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, he can reach over without treats and scratch her between the ears and down the neck. And um, he's just made huge strides with her. Um, and she's wanting to engage. Yep. So, should we go over there? Yeah, let's go over there. And um, so it, that gave you the motivation yes. to say, hey, there's something we can do more with her dynamics. Yep. To see if we can help these Elsa and 
um, Anna and Kristoff grow enough to be able to have a better life around humans. So that's our hope. Um, so uh, that was uh, Kristoff. Now we'll go see Elsa and Anna. So bear with us as we yeah. And you know farm. we've used um, we've used her dynamics to help with babies or younger horses who bite and and um do you know silly baby stuff to and civilize the yeah <clears throat> so we've uh we've decided that uh you know let's try to use it for you know the fearful ones or the ones that need more confidence so, so we have our wonderful volunteers amazing here amazing volunteers hi, hi guys, guys. <laughs> <laughs> They're here to uh, help clean our paddocks and keep our babies happy and healthy. Everybody's already had hay, and uh, there's Delilah coming to say, "Are you bringing those grain?" Hi, honey. Uh, everybody's already had hay and grain, and baby girl. Our volunteers are clean. easy girls. And then next up will be training. Yeah, because so we get ahead of schedule. So this here's Elsa. Sorry. Look at Elsa and Anna. And by the way, they were so happy to see each other yeah. again. Oh my goodness. But, you know, Anna, this just happened on uh, Thursday. Hey, Odie's eating the microphone. He's eating the microphone. <laughs> you gotta love that. We always have something fun for you guys. So, sorry if this is loud. Yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, um, <laughs> hi, sweet Elsa. So, yeah, this has just happened since Thursday, and, you know, look at Elsa. She's like, yeah, people, whatever. People, I don't care. Whatever. I think I'm just going to eat my hay. And Anna's like, really? Really? We can do that? Um, so, you know, this is a super good way of trying to show them that people are okay. Huh. Yeah, and, yes, I know she's got a little fairy knot, and as soon as we can get our hands on her, she will get that taken care of. <laughs> this beautiful white butt here is jasmine oh my jasmine girl your jasmine girl she is so lovely hi baby hi, girl hi good girl yep and then as we told you there's little odie and delilah these two are leased to courageous connections um but jasmine is available for adoption yes she is and anna and elsa are not because they're not trained yet sufficiently yep. to be uh, civilized with humans, but we're working on it. Yep, but absolutely not as reactive as they used to oh be. Remember, my gosh. Yeah. you'd walk in and they'd fly to yeah. the other side. Yeah. Um, and our and our wonderful volunteers here, they help too, just yeah. by being around and cleaning and yeah. talking to them and stuff like that, and they get used to us. So. And look at the nice big space they have. Two yeah. shelters in here. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but the thing that's beautiful about this is the fact that they. They can be within six feet of humans, and that's just so different than what it was. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, and it's got more than a fairy knot in that mane. Yep. But that's not the priority, right? No. Nope. The priority is how do we get these two so they can uh, There we go. Hey, yeah. Okay, we're back. Sorry about so that. So I, I guess the, I guess the, to sum it up is Xylene is great, or Xylene, sorry, is great for uh, getting you that um that next step if you need i would um highly recommend it um and that's just kind of yeah. our you know been our experience and then um herd dynamics yeah Using the herd this is the herd and you know <coughs> part of the reason we adopt out in pairs at a minimum is yep. because we know the value of the herd dynamic yep and even when the herd is two it really matters in fact we're thinking about today how do we do right by Dylan and um, Romeo? Is there is there a pony around that could teach them even better how to be mm. good members of a herd and have polite manners? As a you know, two year olds, two and a half year olds, mm -hmm. they're ready for somebody in addition to humans to help them. And yep, so that's what we're all about. Yeah, we have an idea on that, so we'll see we where do. that goes. We do. So everybody, <laughs> have a great day. Yes. Um, it's helping our mini equines and we're so grateful for all of the volunteers and all of you out there supporting us. For sure. If you got any questions, just private message. We'll be happy to help. Yep. Bye-bye. See you later.